Hello YouTube, Happy New Year, I hope everyone is doing good. So on today's video, I wanted to make a channel update video, and if you guys are unfamiliar with these, I post these once a month in which I talk about future plans of my channel, as well as giving shoutouts to my moderators and thanking everyone who supported me through Patreon, um, channel memberships, and super chats in the previous month. And I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded a channel update video in some time, I've just been so busy lately, I'm just doing the definitive edition, I'm making some lore videos, which I made the Coney Island video, and I have another lore video coming out really soon that I've been working on for a few weeks. Um, so just give me some time on the lore videos. I will be posting those, but I want to thank you guys for your support, and especially I want to thank um, people who supported me through Super Chats, channel memberships, and Patreon, because you guys help my channel get through stuff when I have to deal with things like copyright and when sometimes my videos get demonetized, like I had a San Andreas video demonetized that it was non-advertiser friendly, and um, I also had another one where um, uh, my Karen video that I uploaded had gotten demonetized. That was a video that I uploaded in which I talked about this crazy insane Karen that had harassed this man on a flight, and um, the unfortunate thing about that is that the video was my um, even though it was my most popular, you know, one of my most popular Crazy Current Event videos, I was very happy about that. YouTube demonetized it right away and said that it was not advertiser friendly. So I wanna, do want to thank everyone who supports me through channel memberships, Patreon, and Super Chat because your support does help me, you know, get through stuff like that. But I want to thank my community moderators. I want to thank Philip7715, TBH82, Vago6423, Saucer Cats. Cop Killers Overboard. I also want to thank my channel moderators, um, uh, Saucer Cats, TJ Lever, Fernando Martinez, Vago6423, Overboard, and Carlos. Um, thank you guys for helping me to moderate the PlayStation community when those were still up, and thank you guys for helping me to moderate my stream chat. I do greatly appreciate it. I will also have a lot of my moderators' channels down below, and I want to do. I also want to make um a special some special shout outs here to some of my friends. Um, first stop here is Gent Games. Now Gent Games does a lot of different games. If you like Red Dead content especially, make sure that you guys check him out. And also my friend Dr. Deception, who he does um cinematic GTA Online videos, and he's really good at it. Also check out my friend Chasaruni, who he plays all variety different types of games. And um, my friend Philip7715, who had recently made a new channel, and he does mostly um, building train sets on that. And also my friend Saints um, Nomad, who he does playthroughs on different games. He recently did a playthrough on GTA Vice City Definitive Edition, so make sure um, you guys check them out. I'll have them linked down below. So starting off, I want to thank everyone for your support on this channel. You guys are awesome. The channel is right now 1,014,000 subscribers. We're about to hit 1,015,000 subscribers. I know that you guys see under my channel, it says um, 1,010,000 subscribers, but that's because the YouTube thing, it doesn't register um, those numbers, it only registers every 10,000 subs, but right now, I am at 1,014,000 subscribers, so thank you guys for the support, y your support means a lot to me, and I remember um, a year and a half ago when I started expanding my channel and I wanted to start doing other games and other content, and everyone who has stood by me and watched my channel, I want to thank you greatly for your support because it just means so much to me. I had a lot of people that were being negative and nasty to me back then, telling me that without GTA Online that my channel would just fail and that I, I wouldn't be anything, but your support has encouraged me to try so many different things and has boosted my morale, and I appreciate that so much. And to the people that were telling me that I was going to fail, well, right now I'm at a million fifteen thousand subscribers and I'm approaching one million twenty thousand subscribers, and I'm doing way different content than I did a year and a half ago. Now I wanted to talk about some plans for the channel. So as you guys see, I am right now wrapping up the GTA 3 Definitive Edition, and then right after that, uh, you guys guessed it, I will be playing GTA Vice City Definitive Edition. Kind of crazy considering I just beat Vice City two months ago, but I wanted to play through the Definitive Edition on the channel. A lot of people have requested that as well. Now I had a bunch of Vice City lore videos planned, like a bunch, like three or four. Vice City lore videos planned, and I actually have a few San Andreas lore videos planned, as well as GTA 3 lore. But the reason that I held off on those videos, even though I was going to make those videos two months ago, is because I wanted to wait for the Definitive Edition, because I wanted to record those videos specifically with the Definitive Edition when I record the lore. So, as these walkthroughs are coming up, these playthroughs of the Definitive Edition games, I will be posting a ton of lore content, and I think a lot of people are going to love it. There's um, two or three videos coming out on San Andreas, 
There's like four coming out on Vice City, and there is around two or three coming out on GTA 3. I don't want to um uh I don't want to give any away, but I will say that one video that I have planned, I will say specifically about Claude and talking about his personality because I think that Claude is the most underrated GTA protagonist. And I think, you know, a lot of people I don't think give him a fair review and they simply don't like him because he doesn't talk, but Claude actually does have a personality and he's pretty hard to analyze and I will be explaining exactly, you know, m my breakdown and character analysis of Claude as a person, which I think a lot of people are really going to enjoy. Joy. Also, I have Saints Row lore planned. Saints Row lore and GTA 4 lore. You guys saw my um, a recent video in which I actually went to Coney Island. A lot of you guys loved that video. I will make videos like this in the future, visiting the other neighborhoods, but those videos are going to come out later in a few months from now because I will be going back um, home soon, but when I visit my parents in New York, that's when I'll, I'll come back and I'll do another neighborhood. I think I'll do um, uh, Flushing Meadows or Meadows Park. It's Flushing Meadows in real life, but it's uh, Meadows Park in GTA. That's Packy's neighborhood. That's another neighborhood that I'm very familiar with, and I think I could do a great video on that. That. The Saints Row lore videos, I have a few of those planned. I have character analysis, and not only that, I have kind of um, specific analysis on the gangs. Um, the, the gangs that I did want to break down are the Vice Kings, the Carnales, the um, Ronin, and the um, uh, and I think also the Brotherhood and Ultor. So I have a lot of these videos planned, but I don't want to give a specific date on them, guys, because the lore videos usually take me a lot of time to make because... There's a lot of editing required in them. I have to do a lot of research. I have to rewatch several cutscenes just to make sure that I didn't uh, miss anything. Got to put it all together. Got to put the thumbnail. So usually those lore videos, they do take me a few weeks to make. So just be patient and just know that I'm not canceling any lore videos. I have a ton of them planned. They just take me time to put them out because I'm doing playthroughs and I'm doing crazy current event videos um, in the meantime. And I'm also doing streams. And as for, you know, Red Dead content, where I just, I just mentioned a stream, um, Red Dead Online, you know, I don't know what's going on with the game. I will still stream Red Dead Online, so it's not that I'm giving up on the game, but, you know, I don't know what Rockstar's problem is. I don't know um, uh, really what they have planned for Red Dead Online anymore at this point. That video that I made ranting about Red Dead Online and how Rockstar ruined it, that video is actually approaching half a million views. So for the people that tell you that people don't care about Red Dead Online, you can show them that video almost almost half a million views. And I think that one day that video is going to get to a million views. That's at least my prediction. Because in just two weeks, it's at half a million views. So it does especially mean a lot to me that so many people do feel strongly about Red Dead Online like me. It's just pissing me off how much Rockstar has neglected the game. But don't worry, I'm still doing Red Dead content. It's just it's going to be, it's going to be difficult. It's not going to be easy. I'm going to admit to that because there's not much content to cover. And considering the fact that Rockstar have abandoned Red Dead Online for GT Online at this point, it's, it's going to be harder and harder to make content. But I will still do content on it. So don't worry, despite those, those setbacks. So again, that's pretty much it for everything that I wanted to talk about in this video. Again, I want to thank everybody for helping me to get to a million subscribers. It does mean a lot to me. You guys are awesome and you have my back and you support me. And it, it just means so much to me. It, it, because I had I was in a really bad state like a year and a half ago. It's not that I hated GTA Online. I played the game so much and I liked it, but I was just going crazy from playing the same game over and over again. And I always wanted my channel to be diverse. I didn't want my channel just to be focused on just one game entirely. But you guys have had my support, and it's taken some time, you know, to grow. You know, it wasn't the same views as GTA, but the views... They don't really matter to me. What matters to me is that I do what I'm passionate about and that you guys enjoy the content. And we've been growing at a steady rate even when I uh, largely stopped doing GT Online, which I want to thank everybody again for supporting me. Your support is awesome. We will be approaching 1,020,000 subscribers hopefully soon. So thank you guys once again. I will answer any questions that people have down below. If you guys want to ask me anything, feel free to. I'll try to reply to as many people as I can. So thank you guys once again for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone, and Happy New Year also.